The Golden Apple Award, brought to you by WGU. It is time to meet this month's winner. She gets a $2,000 cash prize, a school supply shopping spree, a trophy, and a visit from Hannah and her Golden Apple team. Our winner is Mrs. Angela Grace, but everyone knows her as Coco. She started out as just an active parent in Warren Township, but now she's teaching STEM and received almost 50 nominations for this award. Preston Intermediate Middle School is home of the Cyclones, where there's a sea of students and a flood of nominators for the Wish TV Golden Apple Award. Almost 50 nominations for the Wish TV Golden Apple Award. Hearing that, what do you think? I'm happy because I feel like Ms. Grace, she, she needs this because like she likes like help us and support us in everything we do. I feel like when we put her through, like she most <laughs> definitely like she most definitely need this. What do you think that says about her that so many students send in nominations? I just think that's so amazing for her and like she I just she just she deserves it. I kind of do. I kind of had a feeling she was going to win though. Oh yeah, how come? Because everybody in the school liked her. It's the most we've ever had. Wow. Hearing that, what do you think? That's exciting. I can see that. <laughs> I mean, the kids love her. Principal Todd Nalon says Mrs. Angela Grace has quickly become a school favorite. All right, and make sure you guys take your notes out. In fact, most students just call her Grace or Coco. Well, Miss Coco, I was like, well, who's Miss Coco? <laughs> and they would say, Mrs. Grace. And I said, okay. And so with that point of connection to them, it's kind of opened the door for her to be more than just a teacher to the kids. She's a mom of four. Some of her kids go here and started out as a substitute teacher. And this is your dining room? But her ability to connect with students made the school see her potential. I went and had a conversation with her and asked her if she ever thought about going into teaching and she told me she, she's thought about it more than once. So for the past three years she's been going to school and is in the transition to teaching program here in Warren Township and now she teaches seventh and eighth grade STEM. So we build bridges in here and everything just something to give them a break something fun to do. She definitely does have a lot of passion uh, the care that she has for our kids is just unmatched. She loves her kids. She loves what she she's doing. Um, it extends beyond the classroom for her. The students say her class is always active, from dissecting sheep brains to building houses with popsicle sticks. Yeah, y'all been doing a good job. Miss Grace just got that vibe. Like I don't know. Like Miss Grace is just special all around. Very hyper. <laughs> uh, she likes to yell. Like in a good way though. She's energetic, she's, she's like, she stands out more than the other teachers and she just really, she's loud and she like cares. Yes. She also cares for kids as the youth director at her church. Plus, at school, she helps run the robotics club, science olympiad, and is helping start the drone program. Kids like being in her class and she does do a lot of fun type projects and she does support them and she does things to allow them to fix grades if they if they need to go back and fix stuff that was missing. These kids have to be socially and emotionally safe before they can ever be academically successful and she does a great job at that. Fellow teachers say she's real and raw with her students and makes everyone at school feel cared for. Anytime you're around her it doesn't matter what she's going through she feels so safe and like it's emotional, but she feels so like safe and welcoming. That's why Hannah Hennigar nominated her for the Wish TV Golden Apple Award. When I think of like a Golden Apple who is the perfect teacher, like she just exemplifies that in so many ways. So, along with her mom, we went to surprise her. Mrs. Angela Grace. Yes. I'm Hannah with Wish TV. Any idea what's going on? No. You, you have won our Wish TV Golden Apple Award for being an exceptional teacher. This comes with a trophy. Thank you. A school supply shopping spree to Teacher's Treasures. Thank you. And our partners at WGU have one more surprise. I am thrilled to present you, Mrs. Grace, with this $2,000 check. Yeah. Mama, what are you doing? <laughs> Your mom came along for the surprise. <laughs> Thank Seeing you. This, hearing this, how are you feeling? I guess my students love me. <laughs> Thank you.
You received almost 50 nominations for this award. Thank you. The most we've ever had. Thank you so much. Thank you. Are you surprised? I am surprised. Oh, and we have one more surprise for you, a little video. Mrs. Grace. Mrs. Grace, we are so proud of you here at Creston. We're excited that you got this award. You definitely deserve it. Keep working hard. We love you, and we know that there's going to be some great things to come for you in the future. Congratulations, Miss Grace. You deserve it. Congrats, Coco. You really deserve it, and there's no one better. Congratulations, Miss Grace. Um, I'm happy that you got this opportunity, and I love you so much. Hi, Miss Grace. Congratulations on the Go to Apple Award. Congratulations, Miss Grace. You deserve this prize, and I'm so happy for you. You deserve it. Thank you. Where's Coco come from? My middle name is Nicole. Oh. My paternal grandmother gave me the nickname okay. when I was a little girl. It's always been Miss Coco. Even at church, my pastor calls me Coco. Okay. So, so we're like, calling you Coco. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I'm just excited. I'm, <laughs> this was not my plan, but this was God's plan. Mm -hmm. You know, so, um, and I've been here since 2021. What do you hope people can learn from your story? Um, love the children. You have to build a relationship with the children. Some of these kids, they don't have that relationship bond at home. And once you build that relationship, they lock in instantly and they love you and I love them. If everyone builds a relationship and gives these kids that safe space, it'll all work out. You certainly are a safe space. Thank you so much for Thank all you. of you doing. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks y'all. Because being that safe space for students lets them flourish building bonds, relationships. That's the foundation of education. Congratulations, Coco! Yay! Congratulations! Mrs. Grace Coco will be done with her transition to teaching program in August, just in time for next school year. Talk a little bit more about her unconventional path to the classroom. Well, she's always worked with kids. She spent years as an IPS school bus driver. She's a youth director at her church, does that about six days a week. So she kind of fell into this, but perfectly. Uh, another fun fact, the principal told me that she's an amazing cook, mm -hmm. so it's kind of like a side gig, and she brings food into every into the school to all of the other staff members all the time. Least surprising thing ever. Yes. Multi-talented. Very giving. Uh, she'll be the final winner of 2024. I assume you're working on 25 already? Yeah. We need more nominations, though. That's where all of you come in. So grab your phone, scan the QR code on your screen right now, or go to wishtv.com slash golden apple. Tell us why your teacher deserves to be our golden apple award winner. Then watch Daybreak to see who that next winner is.